Hello everyone, this is Max with Avon Website Pro and uh, today we're going to have several different video tutorials going over Google Calendar and how to use Google Calendar to organize your life. So we'll go to the search engine here and type in Google Calendar just like this, like so. And uh, this very first link here, it'll show up uh, as Google Calendar. It'll load up your calendar for you. Okay, and we're going to use one from my other account show you what it looks like whenever you first open it up okay so if you have a gmail or anything like that you already have a calendar and you can start using this thing to organize your life you know whether it be different appointments uh, tasks that you want if you want to add other calendars you know maybe for your children or so on and so forth so that's what this is going to be all about and i'm going to separate it up into several different videos so if you already know how to do something you don't have to um, and if you you don't have to watch this entire video, you can actually just go down to the description below and click on the different videos, you know, whatever you want, you know, how to embed it into your website or, you know, how do you create a, a different calendar or how to make an appointment, so on and so forth. So right now we're going to show you how to uh, go into your settings because that's what we're going to be doing over and over again uh, in some of these video some of these videos to so people could get to the point straight away so over here in settings if you want you can have different type of display densities comfortable cozy and compact okay what compact will do just compacts it down uh, there's not much of a difference here not until you start uh, doing your you know start adding appointments and, and different features to your Google Calendar okay so that's the cozy uh, uh, comfortable and compact here down at settings is where you want to first start okay because whenever you have a Google Calendar you're you're probably making appointments either if you make appointments with people online they could be in a different time zone or they could be in your time zone and uh, so but it's important that if they're in a different time zone that you set set it correctly so <clears throat> number one you pick your language and we speak English, of course. Uh, the country, we live in the United States. Now, if you, you lived in a different country, you would want to be sure to select that country because the time will not show up correctly. So if I, set, if I live in the United States and I set an appointment with somebody in, in London, England, they are not, if they don't have their calendar set right, then they're going, not go, they're going to get a, a reminder for the wrong time so it's important that you have your country set right and your time zone set right and with the United States we have about four or five time zones I live in the eastern time zone but if you lived in for example if you lived in the central time zone like Indiana Indiana you would want to select that if you want lived in Arizona select that California that maybe uh, uh, Alaska you want to, would want to set that so make sure that you set your time zone now if you wanted to if you if you live in a, a, another large country and uh, you or you make or you want to see what the time is in uh, for instance london england you would hit display all time zones okay or and if you hit that and show additional time zones you can actually grab those time zones from around the world okay so if you had ha a dis uncheck display all time zones then you only get the ones for your country okay so and i'm just going to remove that you just remove that here and you could actually give it a label uh, like eastern time zone or or whatever if you like so that's how you set your time zone and your country in google calendar Thank <laughs> you.